time for business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Life in Accra can be financially stressful considering the bills to pay as well as the general cost of living. So how are headquarters making a living? In this edition of the Joy Business Money Diaries, Charles Aitis spent time with some of these headquarters in the Central Business District to appreciate their spending patterns. Here is his report. They risk their lives each day, carrying heavy loads to make a living. But how do they spend the meager amounts they earn on a daily basis? In this edition of Money Diaries, we explore life through the pockets of headquarters within the central business district of Accra. He came in here for the Kaya Yo or saying they are coming to do some business and get money. In the day I can spend, let's say, 10 cities, whether I like it or not. These sisters came all the way from the northern region to seek greener pastures in Accra. Living on less than 10 cities a day, they helped me understand how they managed to survive. We spend six cities. Sometimes, so, sometimes. But in a day, how much do you spend? In a day, whether you get or not, because we are searching for money, six cities does, I, I am spending six cities, two city morning, two city afternoon, two city evening. But what can you buy with two cities? A uh, banku, no meat. You just take the banku like that. Two Ghana cities on breakfast. That what you said. You spend yes, two cities on I'm breakfast. So you've already spent two cities on breakfast. So it's gone. In the afternoon, you spend two cities on lunch. It's also gone. Yes. And in the evening, you spend two cities on supper. But in the case where you would have to visit the washroom. It's 80 pesos. We are left with one city. So 80 pesos is left with 20 cities, 20 pesos now. What it means is that you will not be able to back that very day. Moving on, the first Sky group of companies has pledged commitment to its corporate social responsibility. The group has outlined a number of massive projects to, it seeks to embark upon, including plans to partner the Kolibu Teaching Hospital in establishing Ghana's first ever kidney transplant center as it marks its 17th anniversary ceremony. Chief executive of the First Sky Construction Limited, a subsidiary of the group, Ennis Hammond, spoke to Joy Business at a Thanksgiving ceremony held in Accra. Bismarck Ausa has more. The First Sky Group has over the years embarked on a number of corporate social responsibility initiatives where it has already invested millions of cities in various infrastructural developments and touching lives. As the company marks 17 years of existence, it has promised to continue to play a significant role in addressing some of the country's social and environmental issues. In an interview, Chief Executive of First Sky Construction Limited a subsidiary of the group, engineer Ernest Hammond, said companies owe it a duty to give back to society. We've spent close to 12 million CDs at the renal unit, and that is basically giving treatment to 350 patients of the Kolebu renal unit who are on free dialysis. We are giving them dialysis twice a week uh, for, the, for the foreseeable future until we are able to set up this transplant center where we'll have these uh, people who are on dialysis receiving donor kidneys and, uh, and being able to, to live their lives normally. We, we believe that this is a shared responsibility for all of corporate Ghana and everybody should try in their own little way to, 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 to impact in the society that we find ourselves. On the group's corporate social responsibility programs for 2020, Mr. Hammond said, a kidney transplant center with a capacity to serve Ghana and the whole of West Africa will be ready by May. This year, 2020, we will continue with our collaboration for a second transplant program in May, which will lead to a complete setup of a Ghana kidney transplant center at Kolebu. This center will have the capacity to serve Ghana and the West African sub-region. The 17th Thanksgiving service was themed, Great is Thy Faithfulness, and was attended by a section of the clergy, including Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, Reverend Paul Frempon Manso, 
and Apostle Professor Kwejo Opoku Onyina, among others. And that's your business update for now. More coming up in 20 minutes on the marketplace. The news continues with sports after this break. Mm -hmm.